Welcome to Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer and it's our guest Gary Kovacic. He is a council member in Arcadia and so I want to speak with you about some exciting projects in the city connected to the Gold Line and it deals with uh, either new or renovated bridges and then we'll expand the conversation. Okay, a bit. yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of amazing but we're having four bridges uh, either built or renovated in our city. The uh, Keystone, of course, is the, the iconic bridge that's on the 210 freeway, sure. sort of being promoted as the entry to the San Gabriel Valley. Right. That's going to be uh, um, finished soon. And then three bridges uh, that uh, are within our city limits. Uh, it's very exciting. One of those was built with bond measure money. And let's talk about that, because that begs the question about how voters are able to pass bonds, raise taxes on themselves, locally. In 2006, Measure A passed in Arcadia. It got 71% of the vote. It needed 66.66% of the vote. Um, in other words, we need two-thirds to pass local bond measures for specific projects. There are discussions now, given that the Democrats have taken a supermajority in both houses of the, of the legislature, about whether we should change that formula, be it for a parcel tax, be it for transportation projects. What are your thoughts? Well, my thoughts are in Arcadia, you can, you can meet that two-thirds threshold. We've, uh, done right. it, we've done it in 2006. We've done it with a couple bond measures since then. But I think statewide, it's an important discussion to have. Mm. I really think that to have one-third of the voters dictate how the state is going to go is, is unfortunate. And think about this. In November of 2012, we had Measure J on the ballot countywide. It would have extended the sales tax, uh, I think it's a half cent, for transportation projects by 30 years. It needed two-thirds. It got 66.12%. It needed 66.66%. You know, a lot of people are lamenting that loss because if it had passed, the county could have bonded against the 60 year of revenues, possibly speeding up the gold line. Yeah, absolutely, and that's that's a perfect example of, of why I think we have to take a serious look at that two thirds uh, supermajority threshold. It uh, I don't think it makes sense in, in, in modern day uh, politics. Well, how do you feel about that deep inspection? Because it's part of Prop 13, as you know, and Prop 13 is simultaneously extremely popular and extremely reviled throughout California. And the mere suggestion that we would open up Prop 13 causes cheers and jeers. Mm -hmm. Do you think Californians at this time are willing to take a look at Prop 13? Uh, the sense I get is that they are. It's, it's been called the third rail of right. California politics. And uh, I think the analysis has to be careful. It has to be uh, uh, detailed, but yeah, I think there's there's a time now for a discussion. I do think, though, that with the with the supermajority the, in in Sacramento, with the Democratic Party, there are some fears that uh, too much power will breed more, right, right. more problems. I hear you. Now, what's interesting is, in order to get a measure on the ballot, because in order to revise Prop 13, it would have to go back to the voters you need either signatures or two-thirds. Now, the Democrats now have two-thirds, so they could get it on the ballot. Mm -hmm. What do you think voters would, would think? Uh, it's, Especially in a city like Arcadia, which yeah. is kind of a nice microcosm Well, of and, and it's, a, it's a fairly conservative right. community. I think voters in Arcadia would be challenged to, to overturn uh, Prop well, 13. Not, but what about tinker with it? I don't know about overturning it, uh, but tinkering with it. I, we're always open to good ideas right, right. In, in Arcadia. Uh, you know, you look at Prop 30, and some people said that wasn't going to pass. I thought it was going to fail yeah, miserably. Exactly. Got yeah. over 55% of the vote. Yeah, so you don't know. I think people uh, want to see our, our economy, especially in California, go forward. Sure. They have some okay. problems about the voting. His name is Gary Kovacic. He is a member of the Arcadia City Council. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Thank you for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.